What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natalie and this is episode 60 of the House Builder series. How is everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh and thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been showing. You guys are super awesome and amazing. Thank you guys for the patience and you know just being understanding with my your schedule. You know I'm trying to get back on track. I really am and little by little I will be you know but just thank you for being patient you guys are super super awesome and amazing if you guys haven't already be sure to check out the last episode episode 59 of the house for first series to show support in that way as well other than that let's go ahead and get started with this episode so between the two jobs that we had been given i decided to choose this one over here this is what we're going to do today dreams come true mill farm let's go ahead and accept it the city that's for sure and i hope zoe won't either in fact she seemed to be looking forward to a change i'm not afraid to get my hands dirty so i already got started on the house it will take a while but i want to do it myself but there are a whole lot of other things to do a woodworking workshop cow pens and a swing we expect nothing less than epic it's the dreams come true Miller's from after all. All right, and welcome to the dreams come true Miller's farm job. This is going to be awesome. We are starting off with looking at a big, beautiful red barn. And it looks like we do have a few things that we need to do in the garden. It actually looks like I need to stop saying that. It actually looks like we're never going to be working in the houses. So i mean that's kind of good because if we had to work outside and inside that was going to be kind of like a little pain because it's going to be a lot to do and you know i feel pressure into like just fixing up these things right away but you know what it's good that we're getting um just quick jobs just to learn and that we aren't trying to do a whole bunch at once because it's going to be a little bit overwhelming right now that we're learning new things so we have to place a fence and a gate, clean up leaves, and buy objects. So I think that I'm just going to go ahead and get started with a time lapse.
all right so it looks like we 100 percent completed this job too as well so that's good it didn't take too long either so let's start off with the top area of this barn so basically we just cleaned up the cobwebs that were here and cleaned up the hay that was on the ground and loose hay and then um down here we basically redid this area there used to be barn doors right here that led into like a little closure enclosure that's now the garage and we closed off this area and then we added this door right here so it's less like space being taken up by the doors and we actually moved the doors to this side that leads to the little playground area that i'll show you guys in a little bit so starting with this area over here the garage we added this new door we like i said closed off the door the area where the two barn doors sliding barn doors were and we painted this whole room a silver glacier color then we added these windows we added some new paneling to the ceiling and some new flooring we added this clock this corner desk the chair the stereo the whiteboard right here the two shelves right here along with all the various tools and stuff supplies on there then we added these tool racks right here on the wall and then we added this whatever this is i don't know what it is i'm not a tool person but that's it and it's oh yeah and then we added the light switch and the lights on the ceiling and that's it for that area and then over here in the main area of the barn we added the fences along right here the black ones and we connected them to the posts that are holding up the barn then we added the gate we also added some tools here on the wall so like the broom the pitchfork and the scythe and then in here we added these two feeding troughs and the two water troughs and that's basically it then over here out here we added this little playground area i say little but it's a huge playground area we added the fences and we added the gate over there and then we just added and constructed this playground last but not least we did i'm stuck i can't even get out <laughs> so much for this gate hold on let me fix that really quick okay there we go i fixed it okay so we added that gate and stuff and then last but not least we cleaned up leaves there were a bunch of leaves that were just splattered here on the walkway and we just brought out a leaf blower and we disposed of the leaves so that is it we are going to 100 complete it all the way for twenty five thousand six hundred sixty five dollars and 48 cents so i really like this job too not because it was short but just i like doing new things like i liked that we were able to bring out a leaf blower and blow away the leaves and just dispose of them that's something new and it was pretty cute decorating the barn and decorating the garage you know i really enjoyed it all right so that's gonna be the end of this episode so in the next episode we're gonna be doing the other job that we looked at in the last episode which is going to be grandpa's summer surprise thank you guys so much for watching thank you for making it all the way until the end of this episode i really really appreciate it you guys are awesome and amazing and all your support is really greatly appreciated I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.